Okay, guys, 40 gallons empty. We're going to set it up for a pick roll or a bass or something. So we have our 40-gallon filter like we always use. And we're just, we have a ton of rocks and a piece of driftwood. And we're going to go get some more rocks today to fill in. See, we've already put some sand in. That's where we're going to have maybe a few live plants. And that's going to be like a sandy area. And then where the blue grates are, those just kind of, we're going to put a bunch of gravel on it. And the grates are there, so like any dirt and like poop and all that disgustingness will go underneath there. And then when you're cleaning the tank, you can lift those up, and that's where all of it is. So it makes it look a lot cleaner. So, so we're going to put a brick right there, it's going to look like. And that's going to, yeah. And oh, make, sure, make sure that is exposed. Cool make sure that's exposed. And we need one of, yeah, like right there maybe. Yeah. So we kind of cleared a spot away from the sand to like put the filter because sand will clog up your filter. All right, you can barely see it. It'll Bad lighting right in this here, room. Right? Yeah, so it's going to shoot up right there. When we need, yeah, one more rock. This one. Get, this, I said no, this one. Or, or that one. Or that one. Yeah, this, this no, this, this bigger one. Um, where do you think then you should put the driftwood? I think you should put it in the very front on the sand. Yeah. So this. Yeah, it looks really that's, good. That's and I think I think little minnows could hide under it and stuff. And if any minnows survive. Yeah, they're gonna survive. That looks yeah, that looks really good. Alright guys, so I got some more rocks. I got a big one up front, that little guy. I didn't do the cave, I didn't think it would look good, so I made another cave over here with that one propping it up. So now all we have to do is get the gravel, fill in the white, I meant the sand, and like put a bunch right here so there's some sand but mainly you see gravel and fill in this blue grate so you can't see it and then we'll go get the pickerel we'll update you guys when we get the gravel and we'll put it in and it will be looking good so so we're getting um gravel from this creek down here um and we might get some crawfish dip we don't have yet That's a big minnow. These are um, mosquito fish, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna keep him. Big, where's the big minnow? He's so big, the catfish shouldn't butt. Yeah, he, can be, he can be our friend. His name's yeah. Joe. Yeah, Nickname's Joe. Last, last now, this is the same creek that um, we did snake surprise. Um, further downstream from where we cut the top snake. Also, this was uh, not filmed, but we caught an alligator here one time. It's probably not more than two, three feet. So but was, we got him in the bucket right around this area. He was down there. We scared him up. It's poor minnows. Um, it doesn't get scared. That was a that was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Yeah, yeah they were taking it for like 20 minutes. So I must have. We didn't know what to do because we didn't have any rope or tape. Well, this gets deep. Kill yourself. 
Your cracks and socks. No! Cracks and socks are not the way to go, Ethan. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's not cold, is it? What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was an awesome jump, though. Crawfish. We're looking for some like decently big crawfish. Um, little, little crawfish. If he's not big enough, look at him. He's trying to pinch me. Look at his bright red claw. Ow. Ow, that hurts. All right, buddy, let go. Oh, yeah, it's perfect for Thomas. I think he'd love that. All right. Well, we're going to take it back. All right, guys, we got a little catfish. Luckily, these things are super hardy, so this walk back will not injure him. We got a little catfish. Hold up. I'm gonna go put him in the bucket. I already got some footage of the GoPro. Underneath. And in the bucket. Here she goes. Tons of gravel. All different shapes and sizes are just tons of it. Can I jump that again? Hopefully this time I'll make it and basically not do what I did last time. That is it. It's it looks way wider in the water, but it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's both claws, but it's pretty much translucent. We've had a few of these in the past. We're gonna keep it in our ten Ow. gallon until we uh, surprise our cousin with a ten gallon in the uh, at the end of the month. Yeah. Going in, and there he goes. Well, you see it at home. Guys, got the rocks. We're gonna put them in. I got the wrong liquid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's where do, where's our blue net? Blue net, I think it's over there. Where? Right? Like, remember? No. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, we're cleaning the glass. It looks good, but oh. but this is what it is so far. We got the driftwood and then the rocks. It's really coming together. When the water comes in, we're gonna get and we're gonna aerate it, clean it for like we're just gonna let it run for like 20 minutes. Make sure it's all working good. Then we're going to put the crawfish in and 
Mr. Big Catfish just likes to eat everybody in this tank, and he is super chungus, big fat blob catfish. And good. Normally, how we do is we have buckets of water, and it, but it takes like 20 minutes. So we decided we were gonna get a hose and pull it up through the window. So hopefully this works. We'll get you back when it's all filled up. We're, we're filling up the tank with so the So we're hose. filling up the tank, guys. My mom's down there. Mom, you're down there? Yep, she's down there. She's going. What do you think of this, Audrey? Hopefully there's not a hole. We'll tell you when. Okay. Are we ready? Alright, Isaiah, you gotta get, get the right. shot of it first coming in. Alright. Isaiah. Ready? Ready? Ready! I can feel the water coming up. There it is! Look at that first little bit of water. And there's still paracord on there from when we when we started. Right, look at that. Oh, we need we need we need lighting. This is terrible lighting. Look at this. Look at that. We're filling up our tank through the window. You can see the water going through the rocks. Look at this. You can see it just going all across the sand. Up! Oh, turn it up! There we go. That's good flow. You can see there is dirt. There's a lot of it. You know, the water's actually really clear. Look at that. As long as you don't do it on the sand, it makes it a lot clearer to start out. Yeah. There's little clumps of stuff like this, but I'll take that out throughout the day. For the most part, it's decent. Yeah, for the, like, I mean, there is a little bit of bubbles and stuff. And but that's only because we're still putting water in. Yeah, yeah, that'll get caught in the filter. In fact, we should probably plug the filter in. When it gets yeah, high Yeah, enough. when it gets high enough. Is the filter all plugged in yet? No, it's not. There's not a switch. You just plug it in and start turning. Oh, I Look at one time that. Time. Man, this is going quick. It, like, it'll take us like 10 minutes to fill it with buckets. This will probably like take us like two or three. <laughs> All right, we, we filled it up. So, gotta it's wait. a little a little muddy right now. Gotta wait for it to clear yeah, up. gotta wait for it to clear. And we're just with the dechlorinator and we gotta make the dechlorinator go through the water. And got our soft turn nice and hidden. And it shoots, good. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it shoots right between. Those two, this rock right there, and that rock right there, it shoots between the crack right in there. That's where the water shoots up, and then it sucks the water in right there. It should clear up really good. It looks super awesome. It is. It should look better when it's clear, and when we have fish in it. Alright guys, Time here's is one of the crawfish. We're going to put him in the tank. It's been like 5 minutes, or 10, 20 maybe even. So, there he goes, dropping down in, king of the rock, really looking, this is just a massive tank, really looking good, so he's going to go find a little crevice in the rocks to hang out, come out at night, okay, here's the other one, little smaller, but still big enough that... He won't get eaten. Drops right down. Unlike the other one, he's going to jet away that way. So I guess this is going to be his side. He's just going to look around for something. This other guy's wandering around looking for a good crevice. So he found the good spot. He, there's already a hole there. I don't know if he can fit, but he's going to try. And he's going to fit. Well, there he goes, in the cave. Well, that's his rock soldier. That other guy will probably find somewhere different. Now, the last thing is the catfish. Where's the hell? I just got spined. Watch out, they have a mild venom. They do have a mild venom. He's a 
big bull head. I caught him super small, and he is literally eating everything in the tank. Oh, That's gosh. why he's so fat. That's a good thing. He's got a good meal. And we just put him in. He's really so beat up. Person. Catfish are always just looking beat up. That's okay. Just because they like, pick fights with everybody. But I think that scar on his head is where he tried to fight Shadow the crawfish. Or maybe that's just sand. Hey, buddy. Buddy, buddy go, go somewhere else. Different. That's that's the crawfish. Here, yeah. The other crawfish is down there. I don't know yeah, why don't you go over to somewhere else, buddy? Go, go over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good idea. Good idea, buddy. He might. He isn't doing so well because we transferred him so quick. He's doing fine. He's just a little confused. Buddy, that's not where you're supposed to go. He'll pinch you in the nose. That crawfish will pinch you in the nose. Just keep going, buddy. No, no, buddy. Other way, opposite direction. No, buddy, stop. No, hey. ah. Sometimes I think catfish are just the unsmartest creatures on earth. He's, he's, just, he's literally just wedged himself straight up in the air.